Hello everybody, welcome to Digital Image Processing Tutorial video. In this video, I will show you how to do the image restoration using the Winner Restoration Filter from Scikit Image Library. Let us import the library first. Okay, we import the library. Now I will create a plotting function to help us display the image. Now I will load the image from Scikit Image dataset, which is the astronaut's image, and I will save that as a variable image. Okay, let us display the image. Alright, so this is our original image or the input image. Next, we will degrade this image by blurring and adding a Gaussian noise. First, I will blur the image. Let us create a blur kernel. Alright, so here I create the blur kernel, which is size is 5 by 5. Now, if you look to this PSF variable, this is a 5 by 5 matrix and the value is all the same. Using the Convolve2D function from Sci-Fi, we blur the image. Now if we look the image, it's now blur. Let us add a Gaussian noise using the random noise function. Perfect, now we have the degraded image. We will try to restore this image using the winner filter. There are two winner restoration filter functions in Scikit Image Library. The first winner filter is underscore winner this function takes two input. The first input is the degraded image, and the second input is the point spread function or the blur kernel. As an output, this answer for files underscore winner returns two outputs, the restores image and a variable called change. For this moment, we only need the restore image. Let us run this cell and see the result. Okay, beautiful. So this is the restore image. Now let us try the second winner filter which is the restoration.winner. This function also requests us to input the degraded image, the point spread function, and the balance variable. Let us run this cell and see the result. Now we have two restores images. Which one do you think is better? To evaluate the result, we can use the peak signal to noise ratio or PSNR matrix. The larger the value, the better the restore image. Let us import the library first. So this function will take two inputs, which is the original image and the restore image. First, I calculate the PSNR between original image and degraded image. Then I calculate the PSNR from unsupervised underscore winner and winner function. Let us run this cell. Alright, based on this matrix, the winner filter gives a better result because it has a larger PSNR value. However, the larger PSNR value doesn't necessarily mean a better result. If we look to the image here, actually both images look the same because the PSNR value not that different. Okay, that's all from this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial video.